Okay, this is the uh, TCAP 8th grade practice test. This is question number three. If you saw the first two, or either one of the first two, you'll notice that I'm not using the same exact program I was using before. This question makes it is much easier if you can use the calculator, and I can show you what I'm doing in the calculator. I'm using a TI-84+, plus, by the way, but as long as you have a graphing calculator, this question is just as easy as you would think it would be. So question number three, and I'm going to throw it up next to the camera. Which function is nonlinear? The only things that you have to know to get this right are what linear means, and that was really good using green highlighter because it made it impossible to see. Nice planning on my part. There's the word linear. It has the word line in it, which means it's a line. Then you have to know what the uh, prefix non means. It means not. So you're looking for the function that's not linear. If you know anything about the functions, you know that anything with an x is a linear function. It looks like a line. If not, uh, and you also probably, if you know that, I should say, you probably also know that anything with x squared makes like a little curve. So that would be the nonlinear one. So you would know immediately it was c if you don't. Or maybe you get to test uh, day and you lose your mind a little bit, get a little nervous. Everybody does sometimes. Just graph them. Go into the y equals section. I'm going to clear out some stuff. And I'm going to hit 5. I'm trying to delete this thing to back to normal. My calculator was set weird, sorry. So I graph y equals 5, and look, it's a straight line. So that's, that's linear and not nonlinear. So a, f of x is equal to 5, is out. Now the next one says f of x is equal to 3x. So I go into the y equals, type in 3x, and I graph it. Look, a line. So it's not 3x. C says 5x squared minus 2. So I can go in. I'll clear out these. And type in 5x squared minus 2. And hit graph. <gasps> Look, a curve. It's a parabola. It's not a straight line. It's nonlinear because it's got curvature to it. A line will go on in the same direction forever. This isn't a line. So the answer to number three is just C. So either way you want to go about it, you can graph it or you can just know. One way or the other, both are good.